Now, our exercise physiologist stops by every Wednesday, and Mark Goswell, this is you, right? You jump in, and, and quite often we sort of come in, we sort of get onto a particular topic, whether it be whatever it is. And but before that, usually pick on me because that's just what happens. <laughs> yes, I do because you're a, a, a easy big target. You're, you're look, a you're target. an easy target, but also you provide lots of entertainment, lots of information. So today you're actually bringing that target, and you're actually bringing it into the public space. So um, I mentioned before that because I was crook last week. Yeah, the man who never gets sick. Exactly. I was crook last week, off for most of the week, and thought, I will do the right thing. I'll jump back in and, and start exercising immediately. Yep, worst thing you could possibly do. Which kind of is a bit counterintuitive. You'll get to why, but I'll tell you what's wrong with me, right? Hands sore, arms sore, um, knees, joints sore. Back, shoulders, oh, neck. This morning, I woke up at like three o'clock and I just didn't matter how I laid or where I put my leg or whatever. My back was killing me, so whoop, up I got. Yep, and that is your body's way of saying stop. You've just been sick. You've just been unwell. You've just been fighting a virus that we don't, you know, we don't know what that virus was doing to. But obviously, it laid you out and made mm. you, you know, made you feel terrible for an entire week. So what do we do? We start feeling sorry for ourselves and we go, mm. oh, you know, I'm sick because I wasn't leading the lifestyle that I should. So now I'm going to start exercising. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I, th I think you. I think you're pretty much right because yeah, I would probably concur with that. Look, I haven't been lifestyle a approved for quite a while, My, <laughs> and you know, I have been talking to you about that. And, but and you know, that, people don't listen. No, and that's a thing. Like you know, I've I've been better at other times. Get sick, and then you sort of have that epiphany right right this immediate second that I'm better. I'm going to jump back into it. But why does your body fight you on that? on that at the time that you're trying to do something good? Yeah, it's post-viral, post so we start to feel better after we've you know, gotten over the virus or gotten over being unwell. For the record, it wasn't that virus, it was a virus, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, it wasn't corona, it was just a virus. Um, yeah, they, these things still fly around the community at the moment we, and people are still getting sick. But the thing about when you're sick and when you've had that virus and you've been unwell and you start to feel good, and, we're, and it usually does spark us into this, you know, I, I need to start looking after myself, I need to start making better choices, so people will incorporate exercise into that better choice. The problem is your body's still recovering from that virus, even though you may be starting to feel a little bit better. Whatever was going on at that time is still rampant around your body. So when you start increasing your exercise output, so whether that be going to the gym, doing walking, cardio, anything like that, your body's at a disadvantage. And so what will happen is you'll actually start to feel those aches, pains and sorenesses and illnesses that you're going through. But the problem is it can actually bring the virus back on. Oh, gee. <laughs> so, yeah, you didn't have enough time off work. You can bring it, it can actually bring it back on. So, yeah, one of the things that we need to do is obviously hydrate very well. So, obviously, drinking as much water as possible, which you don't do enough of. And I, I did last week, I yeah, can tell you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if you're not doing enough of that, it's about slowly incorporating it into more activity, but not going back to the extremes that you were when you were starting to train. You really should be looking at around a two- to three-week gradual build up to get back to the intensities that you were hoping for it's funny because uh came back to work on friday did some training on saturday felt pretty okay and on monday i thought oh well i'm here i'll just go and I, I was probably only exercising for half an hour nothing over the top you know, i wasn't lifting cars or flipping tires <laughs> um and then just later that night it's like oh it hit me like a ton of bricks and of course again today so yeah hit you mm. basically hit a wall and then it's it saps your energy because your body's working twice as hard just to function because you're still trying to get over that virus so for those of you who are that you know that are out there that are feeling unwell or of you know the stress or life's just gotten on top and you're starting to feel a bit um yeah down mm. you just want to incorporate some yeah probably around 50 to 60 percent of what your normal training routine is so you definitely don't not train but just not at the same intensities because look if you've had a virus if you've been unwell it will literally come back and yeah what might take you two weeks to get over might take four to six isn't that funny you think it's gone but it's really just going and then you sort of because your body then moves from, I guess, fighting viruses and bad things to sort of propping up what you're now doing, it gives them a bit of a, a rest period. Yeah, that's right. And there's that, that old wives tale, you know, you just got to sweat it out of you and all that. And it's, yeah, it's basically just rubbish. You know, your body's got to have time to recover. Um, it will take time to recover, obviously, depending on the illness or the virus that you had. Um, but you've just got to be sensible and start to listen to your body. If your body wakes you up at three o'clock in the morning in a world of pain, you've probably done too much. Yeah. So don't go to doing nothing, but yeah, you know, obviously keep your hydration levels 
uh, quite high, but also just slowly incorporate yourself back into training. All right, take it easy is the key. Mark Goswell, our exercise physiologist. It's just, uh, mate, thank you for letting me know how I've been doing it wrong <laughs> again. Mate, it's always my pleasure. To NURFM, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.